There's only one word to describe this place. It's called paradise. Welcome to Coco Bodu Hithi. It's a beautiful five-star resort in the middle of nowhere in Maldive Islands. There are 1,200 islands in Maldives or Maldives as the locals call it, spreading over one and a half thousand kilometers distance from the south to north and 130 of them are private islands built with luxury resorts. So after four nights in Mali city in the Maldives here, yeah, now we're going to check into an island resort. There are two ways to go to these islands, depending on how far away is your resort. You either fly there by the seaplane, which will cost you an additional average $400, or go there by the speedboat if it's not too far away. Each resort has uh, its own counter, check-in counter. So you check in here, it's in the airport, and then uh, they will take you to the speedboat and to your resort. I am just very happy in such a rainy season have a beautiful day like this, 29 degrees of oh life. Coco Bodu Resort is 30 kilometers northwest of Maldives International Airport. It's built on a small island of 200 meters across, offering luxury beach villas and overwater villas. Ah, oh, look at the water. As soon as you walk into the island, you feel welcome and are taken care of. And you will have a designated check-in butler who will be the main contact for your entire stay. It's so peaceful, so good here. No drone? Yes, no drone. No drone? Why? Uh, here in Maldives, no drones allowed. We booked two nights at the beach villa with uh, direct beach access and two nights at the Coco Resident over the water. There are five restaurants here. I would recommend you to pay for the full board, which includes three meals a day, except for the alcohol. Other options are all inclusive, which includes three meals and alcohol, or half board, which includes breakfast and lunch only. There's nothing here except two things. Humans. Humans. And lizards. And lizards. Don't ever try to hide under the tree because if the coconut drop down, it may kill you. Wow, very nice. Oh, wow, that's our room. Ah, next two nights we're going to stay this beach villa. Wow, look at this. Look at the bathtub. And you got this uh, lounge. And look at this, you got the direct access. Open the door and you can go straight to the beach. You got this uh, huge bathtub in front of you. And then the left hand side, that's where the you know, basin, wash basin it is. And go around the wash basin, that's your bed. Look at this. Oh, what's written on the other side? Mahaba, I would guess that's a uh, welcome. Yes, it is. Uh, welcome champagne. That is a private swimming pool at the back. Let me show you. Look at this. Whoa. How nice is this? And you got a day bed outside there. After the plunge pool, you can have a sleep there, have a nap in the afternoon. Very outdoor shower area after the swimming. <laughs> so, so far, what do you think? I'm uh, absolutely loving it. Let me show you our site. <laughs> That's your private beach. Look at this villa. It's individually separate from next to each other. There's no joint walls. And they give a ultimate privacy, you know, for each villa. 10 meters outside the door. That's your beach. You saw this kind of uh, scenery always on the TV, you know, on the advertising, in the commercials. But can you imagine that you put yourself right in front of the kind of properties in these kind of sceneries, oh my god, it feels so good. Been to the beach, so you're gonna rinse all the sand off before you step into the villa. This place is so quiet, it's just in the middle of the ocean, nowhere, you can't see anything else besides in a few humans in the resort. 
sunshine 29 degrees the endless visibility to the ocean above the horizon it is just paradise so beautiful so relaxing i'm just so happy i did make it my bucket list to come to maldives and stay in this such a beautiful resort it is just a blessing it's just a pure pure enjoyment and heaven you paid that much money for the location for the moments like this the sun set over the indian ocean is beautiful and peaceful so many different varieties if you don't like the puppet come here fresh made pasta thank you very much the buffet here is phenomenal get the full board so you can have uh, three meals all included the night is just beautiful peaceful the breeze is nice middle of the ocean darkness it's so only this island is lit up It's uh, 6 30 in the morning. Walk out the backyard. It's so quiet. We always talk about paradise. We always know how to spell paradise, but actually, what it is feel like. Uh, you got to come here to actually feel it. drone is not allowed to fly in the resort area but I'm still tempting to try to see if I can fly the drone to take some footages for you guys to show you what it's like coming here for honeymoon, honeymoon. from Japan uh, Hatsune and Yure yeah, yeah, yeah nice yeah. meeting you <laughs> hi good evening sunset seafood barbecues are not included in any of the food and dining packages and it costs 150 USD per person but it's fun and enjoyable and it offers seafoods and Australian beef steaks are you the new GM I am oh, congrats and we are surprised and happy to learn that the new general manager Mario is also from Sydney, Australia. All the best steaks from Australia. That's exactly right. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Hi, good morning. Every day there is uh, twice cleaning down through the villa. Looks like I'm gonna sleep in the couch. Look at this bed, so nice. So I gotta go to the spa area, have a look. I think we're just uh, pure lucky, you know, to have uh, weather like this. Sunshine, unbelievable. With the, even though it's sunshine so strong, but I don't feel hot. Look at the ocean breeze. It's phenomenal. Beautiful. And look at the water. Right next to spa area, and you have this uh, beautiful gym room which is uh, when you're doing the exercise got the beautiful water view Am I enjoying the gym or enjoying the view? Look at this. So you're gonna give me a good massage, yeah? Thank you. So after two nights in uh, Beach Villa today, we're checking into the Coco residence. Library. Library, yeah. This is top category residence here. 
12 residents on one side and 12 residents on the other side. From October to April is high season and uh, the price in property double. There we are. Show me what it's like. Thank you very much, sir. Poco resident is a 180 square meters private one bedroom residence with a spacious lounge room, outdoor swimming pool, and a split level deck with direct access to the ocean for a swing or snorkel. Ah, uh, that's the bathroom. Also shower too. This is another level of a living standard. Welcome to Maldi. Woo! Cheers! Such a beautiful office with a view to the Indian Ocean like this. Have a look. Look, this is a tropical weather. Uh, only 10 minutes ago, sunshine, blue sky. Now look at it, it's raining. I have to use the umbrella. The umbrella is a necessity, uh, but only for five, 10 minutes. Look, oh. sunshine is back again. It's a bit bumpy though. We had a great time in Coco Resort and it certainly ticked off one of my bucket list. Oh my God. It's such a shallow water that it's a shark. Yes. Actually, I don't want to leave, you know. Thank you so much for the nice hospitality. Thank you. Good service. Very beautiful properties. The weather has been kind to us. We had a beautiful, amazing four nights in this cocoa collection resort. Now we have a go back to Mali City. Now we don't want to go, but... Time to go. Time to go home. So what's your mail type of travel experience? Do you like this type of travel videos? I would love to hear your comments. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please consider to subscribe. Thank you for your support and watching. Until next time, please take care.